in this video we will discuss about different kind of transfection so first let us start with the transient transfection so what is transient transfection in transient transfection the foreign uh, dna uh, that uh, we are inserting it into a host cell will not integrate with the host genome and because of this it will not uh, this uh, genome will not uh, code for its protein for a longer duration of time instead uh, this genome uh, will remain only for a small duration of time uh, for example when the cell divides if there are uh, five or six genome uh, six plasmids that are entered into a cell it might uh, divide it among themselves into uh, the different cells however it is not uh, essential that both of them will divide evenly it might be possible that some of them uh, all of them might uh, go with one cell and our uh, there is uneven, uneven distribution of the uh, foreign dna is also possible so in this case trans, in case of transient transfection the it will uh, the cell will show the expression of uh, foreign dna or the protein that is coded by foreign dna till uh, the cell is alive or cells are uh, still uh, performing its function when the cell dies there is no longer uh, foreign dna host foreign dna expression and so this transient transfection is good when we need a, a signal for a short duration of time and the foreign dna that is most suitable for transient transfection is in the form of highly coiled DNA and here, here we can see the example the foreign DNA enters inside the cell however it is not integrated with the host genome and uh, it's, it will replicate the or it will produce the protein that is coded within this DNA till the time the cell is alive so now let us understand about stable transfection what happens in stable transfection the foreign dna uh, will integrate into the host genome and because of this uh, the expression of this foreign dna will uh, survive for a longer duration of time however this stable transfection is uh, quite difficult and uh, roughly its rate is around 1 in 10000 cells will get a stable transfection or host genome integration and the usual strategy that is used uh, to confirm the host genome integration is that along with the uh, foreign DNA they will all uh, uh, researchers or scientists will also transmit a part uh, a signal a fluorescence signals that can be measured with the help of um, not the fluorescence signals or we can say that co-transfection of the uh, antibiotic re resistance protein uh, so when the cells are uh, transfected uh, are done for stable transfection they can be selectively uh, they can be separated out from the cells that are not transfected and cells that are transfected with the help of uh, selection marker uh, that is co-transfection co of the antibiotic that has been done along with foreign DNA so when the transfected cell lines is treated with that antibiotic the cells uh, that are successfully uh, have the foreign DNA integrated into the genome will be able to survive because those cells will be able to produce uh, proteins that is resistance towards that antibiotic whereas the cells that does not get the host genome integration will not be able to uh, produce the cells will not be able to produce that antibiotic uh, for a longer duration of time and those cells will ultimately uh, die and one more thing about this stable transfection is that uh, the foreign DNA uh, that is preferred for stable transfection is usually in the uh, linear form. So linear uh, DNA is favored whereas in uh, transient transfection highly coiled DNA is, fav DNA is favored and it is difficult compared to the uh, transient transfection. And, and I have already discussed about this selection strategy that has been used to confirm 
or to separate out the cells that are uh, successfully transfected against the cells that are not transfected um, and this stable transfection will last longer than the transient transfection uh, or we can say that uh, it, the future generation of the cells will have the expression of foreign DNA uh, whereas in transient transfection the future generation uh, with time uh, the expression of foreign DNA in future generation with time degraded and uh, soon uh, they will be there will be no foreign DNA exp expression in the host cell in case of transient transfection whereas uh, it will last for a longer duration of time in stable transfection so that's all for this video and if you want to know more about the difference between stable and uh, transient transfection you can go through the reference reference that is provided in the below and also in the description so thank you for your time